What's up guys, it's Maxwell today with the next Clash Royale video and I wanted to show you guys another fun deck that I've been playing um, and I'm gonna call this one the Nugget deck uh, as it's uh, actually created by um, somebody called Blue Gold Nugget if you watched the uh, last streams Chief Pet did which is uh, quite a while ago right now but um, there was somebody called Blue Gold Nugget who was always interacting as well and he created the deck actually a little bit different from this one but I kind of switched this one up to free to play since I don't have any legendary cards because he had the ice wizard in it and I put the wizard in so other than that it's the same deck so let's go ahead hop into a couple of battles and see what we can do all right so for this first one looks like we are going to be facing off against Java inside of the Royal Arena and um, starting off uh, we actually have the Elixir Collector and the starting hand which is always pretty nice obviously so we're gonna place that one down immediately and he's gonna start off with the Goblin Hut in the back I'm not too sure that this is a great play but seeing as he has the Furnace as well he's probably gonna play that one in the middle so um, yeah not too bad and uh, I'm gonna start off with the Mini Packer right here followed up by the Wizard um, to get just a little bit of tower damage down and control the early spawns um, of his Goblin Hut He's actually wasting a little bit of elixir right here before he decides to play the furnace also in the back. And you can see he also has the barbarian hut, so triple spawner right here. Uh, had to draw the laugh face on him because, um, yeah, not really a fan of spawner decks, so um, I don't know. I'm just not too, uh, not really feeling the, the synergy, and it's, in my opinion, it's quite a defensive gameplay, and I don't really like playing that, so. Looks like the giant actually got to a tower, just got one, two punches off, so that's awesome. Um, we're gonna have to deal with the minion horde, just zap that down so the tower is gonna take it out. And now we have a giant coming at us, the cannon is gonna stop the giant. Um, time to think about the um, following cards. Uh, poison spell is also down, doing work right here, but still he's gonna get some nice damage off. And I was low on elixir, so arch is a little bit too late and actually took quite a bit of damage right here but looks like all his spawners are down that's certainly good news for us um, and the archers are just gonna snipe down those barbarians so um, let's go ahead and try and switch it up on him that's something that's always very useful if you get a chance uh, to catch a little bit of breath always do that against the spawner deck player because they are not used to that they just want to focus on one lane and defend that lane and push in that lane so if you're able to switch it up on them and kind of make their head spinning a little bit, you can usually, um, yeah, outplay them. But um, quite a lot of troops uh, from him coming down the lane right here. I just felt like I had to play that Elixir Collector to um, get that uh, little bit of an edge on him heading into Double Elixir right here. Because obviously Double Elixir is where those spawner decks really get ugly <laughs> um, as far as defending against them. So um, I definitely want to get those Elixir Collectors down to... Uh, whenever I can because I certainly don't want to lose against the spawner deck uh, or maybe even beat it if I can so right here and uh, we are once again gonna play the two lane game giant is going down for distraction this time and then the mini packer archers and the poison spell are looking to take down the right tower right here looks like the mini packer actually got a hit off the poison spell is also doing work and it's looking pretty good right here tower is uh, pretty far down but obviously we've got a huge push incoming right now on the left so we're gonna have to do something about that anyways during the time we're into double uh, in, into overtime so the next tower will win the game and uh, looks like we are just able to outlast him if you look at our left hand tower we are about to die right there and gg well played um, very close against this one but it always feels just so good to me to beat a spawner deck um, yeah happy guy right here Okay, so the next deck we're facing um, looks like he's gonna play an Elixir Collector. This one is a Golem deck with a Mini Packer in it. And since he played that early Elixir Collector, I'm just going in for a push right here with Mini Packer and Wizard. Um, always a nice combination for a pretty quick push. You can almost always get some damage down, especially if your opponent is a little bit low on Elixir right here. He actually countered it pretty nicely, only took a couple of Wizard shots, so that's a okay for him. But um, I didn't really, uh, I wasn't really able to do anything else, so we kind of had to make that play. Um, now our elixir collector is down as well, and he has the golem coming in right now. Um, pretty early, some golem decks uh, actually only want to play the golem in double elixir time, so um, we're gonna have to see what we can do about this one. Cannon and archers are going down, the minions and the dark prince are behind the golem, and 
each of us has played a poison spell. Uh, so uh, at this point I definitely have to play another card to defend this. And uh, looks like uh, it actually went pretty well, but his mini pack has a con as well. So um, yeah, some nice some nice damage for him on this push. Definitely well played right there and very tough to defend for me in this current card cycle. So not really too much we can do about that, but let's go ahead do the counter push and move in with the giant and the wizard. He placed the dark prince behind the tower, really awkward play right here. I would have tried to kill the wizard because um, this one is going to be pretty close to a tower. He actually drops uh, a lot more cards and um, anyways I'm able to snipe the tower down. So really awkward play right there, I'm not really sure about that one. Um, the Dark Prince could have easily taken out the wizard, so yeah, anyways. Um, sometimes you also have to win by your opponent making mistakes, I guess, so I'm not gonna complain about that one. <coughs> um, don't really know why I'm giving the thumbs up right there, but um, he's definitely gonna look to get one tower here, obviously, so we're gonna have to make a push for the right tower as soon as we can. Let's drop the giant in the middle to tank everything, and then the mini pack and the wizard are coming in on the left hand lane. At this point he really doesn't know what to do, commit to the golem or defend on the left hand side. And that's just enough time for me, just as much time as I need to kill that left tower. And um, at this point his golem and mini pack are attacking my right tower, but it doesn't matter because um, the split up game once again worked. He couldn't really commit to either side and got him right here with the three crown. So yeah, really, really good game for us. That one mistake that he did right there actually cost him the whole game. So let's go ahead and hop into a live battle, at least that was my plan. Unfortunately the, co um, the recording got messed up right here, so I'm gonna have to bring you this one as a replay as well. And we are facing off against another different deck, so this is some really nice versatility as well. Um, taking a look at my starting hand, I'm going in for a quick push right here with the Archer's uh, Giant and the Poison spell as well. Uh, but he's actually able to counter it pretty well with the Inferno Tower and Wizard, so um, at least the Wizard dies, that's one positive, but yeah, really, really not the greatest opening push. And he plays the Royal Giant, so Mini Packer going down, we're gonna take two to three hits right here, but uh, that's gonna be okay, nothing we can really do about that, and it's not worth committing any more elixir to kill that Royal Giant. Um, just gonna try the counter push right here and the mini packer is gonna get a hit in, that's huge whenever uh, your mini pack again can get a hit in. Uh, you can certainly uh, smile about that one because it does a lot of damage obviously, so um, at this point we kind of recovered a little bit from that early disadvantage and uh, it's not looking too bad for the rest of this game, so let's go ahead and see what we can do. Looks like he's also playing slow, we're pretty even on elixir, so I'm gonna play the elixir pump, he's gonna decide to fireball it. Uh, it's an okay play, not the greatest, but um, for some reason uh, I, I was I was really feeling it this battle. So um, uh, really, fighting spirits were really up on this one, and the uh, giant is once again going down the left side for the split up. And we're obviously gonna have to do something about his royal giant cannon is going down. Just too late, the royal giant locked onto the tower. But um, let's go ahead and try and take him down as quickly as we can. Mini Pek Pekka is gonna do that and also kill the wizard. Minions are gonna kill my mini Pekka though, so at this point uh, he's come back a little bit and the minions are gonna get a couple of hits in as well. Um, uh, actually I decided to zap them down, so um, didn't have to take any damage right here. And at this point it's not smart anymore to fireball the elixir collector because he hasn't done any damage to that elixir collector down the left, so it's really a waste uh, of elixir right there because he's not gonna get the tower down, so um, meanwhile, on the right hand side, the giant has made it to the tower, is gonna get in a couple of punches, and that's gonna be it for that right tower as the poison spell and exactly take it down. Uh, Mini Packer has cleaned up everything behind, and now it's just time to hang on for 30 seconds. Um, uh, yeah, to just try and defend this one. So at this point, Royal Giant is coming in, and uh, I'm building up the building city right here. At this point, he could have fireballed, that would have been a smart fireball, but. Um, I guess he didn't have it in his circle in time and looks like we are gonna survive this 16 HP or not because he's gonna zap the tower down obviously so let's head into overtime but um, we definitely have a big advantage have the giant down a really well played inferno tower by him right here stops it stops me in his in my tracks and um, that's a very very good play 
so uh, yeah, it looks like uh, it's gonna last a little bit longer than I hoped. Uh, Mini Pekka versus uh, the wizard and the skeletons. Um, uh, the wizard uh, or his his uh, squad is gonna win this trade, but uh, the royal giant isn't gonna do too much as the wizard has been able to lock on very early, and also the archers are taking him down. Minions incoming is always a bit of a threat, but the cannon is going down just in time. And at this point he's actually in the lead, but let's go ahead and make that push for the win with the giant and the mini packer. Lots of little troops being deployed by him right here. Nice play, but I'm able to take them down. Also use a nice zap and the giant punches down the tower for a very, very close game and a very sweet um, two crowns to one victory right here. So well played to the lawyer. Um, very good game and that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the deck definitely try it out the giant is very strong in the current meta still so um, Yeah, go ahead and try that one and until next time. I will see you guys later. Peace out